Hi, I'm Alyssa from South End Organics. Welcome to my coop. As you can see, we're not quite done yet and still under construction, and we're missing something really important, our chickens. But here soon, we're gonna get some nice little birds to put in here and finish our construction, and we are so excited to take you on this ride with us. When it comes to bird health, there's not always a simple answer to explain why your birds are feeling down. Maybe it was too hot or too cold. Maybe they ate too quickly or too much. Maybe the other birds in your flock were just being rude. All of these are valid possibilities for why these dynamic little creatures may not seem as happy as usual. But sometimes it's more complicated than any of that. One such instance is in the case of a common infection of the cloaca or vent, often referred to as vent gleet. In birds of all varieties, the vent is the common external opening of the digestive, urinary, and reproductive tracts. Adapted to allow birds to prolong excretion of bodily waste to fly distances or brood for extended periods of time, cloacal health can provide a strong indication for the state of the birds in your flock. For example, a healthy bird with good cloacal health would be expected to produce tightly packed droppings capped with white urates. Vent gleet is a general term for the oozing or inflammation associated with the vent area of the bird. However, with such a close relationship with the digestive, urinary, and reproductive tracts, there can be any number of causes for vent gleet. Some of the most common are acute stressors, bowel infection, or hormonal fluctuations. Fluctuations in breeding hormones are most often associated with hens and occur during the onset of lay or brooding or in the response to stressors. Any of these could lead to inflammation or infection of the cloaca and subsequently any of the tracts attached. One of the most common causes of vit gleet, however, is an underlying bowel infection. In this case, bacteria from the gut can colonize the vent area, causing infection. This is made possible due to watery feces and pH increases. Once these changes occur, it is much easier for fungus such as candida albicans and bacteria to colonize and cause more severe signs and symptoms. Signs of vent gleet outside of the characteristic swelling and discharge include swollen or bulging bellies and sudden loss of feather color or shine. You may also notice reduced feed or water intake and changes in posture. Signs of more progressive infection may include bloody droppings, straining to defecate, or lack of feathers around the vent. Vent gleet prevention, while daunting, often comes down to helping your birds handle bodily stresses as quickly and efficiently as possible. One way to do this is by removing some stressors from their environment, such as avoiding excess noises, preventing pesky mites, and ensuring access to plenty of fresh and clean drinking water. However, the best way to keep your birds healthy is to give them the proper tools to handle stressors and infections internally. This starts with a healthy gut and a nutritious diet. Giving your birds a probiotic regularly can improve their overall gut health and resistance to disease. At Southland Organics, we manufacture a poultry-specific probiotic, Hen Helper. It supports your hens producing cleaner eggs by tightening the gut and can even aid in firming eggshells since it improves nutrient absorption. We're here to help you and your flock thrive. If you have any questions about Vent Gleed or our products, please reach out to me at alyssa at southlandorganics.com or call 800-608-3755. Happy raising. As always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe so you can be the first to hear about new content and our products.